Hi loves, welcome back to my channel. Today, it's probably going to be a short video, I hope so. I don't want this to be super long because it's rather a uh, small haul. And um, yeah, everything is from Anderson Pens. I just love ordering from them because they are really close to us. So everything comes the next day, which is pretty awesome. And you know, their pricing and everything like that is pretty much, it's like the same elsewhere too. So um, yeah, anyways, this pen... I've had in my cart since last month and I finally was just like all right let's just do it and I told myself this is gonna be the only pen I'm buying in May um, actually no I bought <laughs> I bought another one um, if you see my vlog I did buy that mint Caveco sport it was on sale that's why I bought it um, you know normally those are around like 25 27 dollars and it was on sale on Amazon for 20 or 19 something. So I just had to. Anyways, um, yeah, this is my very first Lamy. I hope I'm saying that correctly. It's Lamy or Lamy. Um, and as you can see here, I have three inks that I've gotten as well. So we're going to swatch those. I'll try and do those really quickly, like swatch them quickly. And then, of course, I got the converter with the Lamy pen. Um, and then I also got this cute little notebook. It's the same size as the Life notebook that I have that I do my um, ink swatches in. Um, but I just thought I would get this. I have this in the other size, like a size up from this, and I really like it. Yeah, for some reason, I just I just wanted to get it. It was only $1.50. And then this one is 4 So there's a big price difference. I do like them both, though. I prefer the this one because it is a lighter paper um this one is really like a cream color but more so like a darker cream if that makes sense creamier um or more yellow than the midori cream papers um but i still really like it i like doing my swatches in this so anyways okay let's do the haul okay so here's the pen and let's see does it say what it is I think it should say what it is on my invoice. So it is called the Lamy Safari Fountain Pen. I got the cream color. I believe this is a 2022 special edition. They did come with like strawberry and cream. I was tempted to get the strawberry as well, but I told myself, no, you don't need two pens. Um, so yeah, I guess went with the cream because you guys know I like my lighter colors anyways. And of course I got this in extra fine because I, that's just my favorite. I prefer that. Um, you guys know I, like, I write really small. And with my pens, I don't do anything but journal with them. Um, hopefully one day I'll get into like calligraphy and all that fun stuff, but I'm not good in those. Um, so I just, you know, I write with them and I wanna be able to write with it as much as possible so I just go with extra fine and this is so beautiful okay let me take this off oh no I'm like pressing it down more than just getting it off hold on a second so as you can see this retails for $37 but I actually got it cheaper on Anderson pens I think they had it on sale or something and um I paid a total of 35 for this and the converter. So yeah, not bad at all. And let's see how this works. It says remove, yeah, remove this, okay. And it does come with a blue cartridge. Oh, ooh, look at that. It's a steel nib. Pretty. It's a, it's like a matte finish, by the way. And I just, I love it. I like how it's all cream all the way around. Some of their pens, um, you know, they have like silver detailing and such. I really like how this one is just all cream all right so let me how do you make it so it's like i want it to land like that so i'm gonna figure this out okay 
That didn't work. So I guess you gotta do it backwards. Like that, maybe? Did we get it? Nope. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. Oh, no. No. Please tell me how to get it so it's on the correct side. Oh, I did it. Yay. Okay, now later on I'm going to have a hard time to do that. Um, but beautiful pen. Let me just zoom you guys in. So again, this is extra fine nib. Really pretty. I really love that it's like this matte finish. Beautiful cream color. Everything is cream. Oh. So, so pretty. I was really liking the, I think it was called Savannah. It's like a really beautiful green color. That one looks so pretty too. Um, but yeah, again, I tried, to, you know, trying to control myself. Um, told myself I only need one. So that is the pen. I'm so excited. They also sent this over. I don't know if this comes with the pen. I read the description on the site and it didn't say anything about coming with a sleeve but Anderson pens had put this in my order so I'm like oh it's just like a beautiful sleeve that complements the pen so nicely and this is like something that just like matches all my stuff like this is the perfect color oh my god wow okay yeah this is beautiful oh my gosh I love this okay so I have here the converter um i don't know what ink i'm gonna use yet i i picked out three inks from anderson pens that i've been eyeing up so yeah anyways this is just a converter i'm guessing it works just like um the the Caveco. oh no it reminds me of the twist b you just like twist like that okay cool so that's the converter. I'm going to set these aside and then we're going to look at the, the inks that I got. I have my inks in... <laughs> don't laugh at me, but this is a lipstick court holder. And I have a ton of these. You guys know I have like a huge makeup collection and all that stuff. I have all the organizers. And I was like, hey, this would make a perfect um, vial holder so I don't have to purchase one. I was actually going to put it in the lipstick holders, but those are lip gloss holders, but those are a little bit too tall for the vials. So this is just a normal, um, I guess you would say lipstick holder and it's just perfect, you know? So anyways, I got three inks. Um, so two of them are by J Herbin. This one right here is called, I don't even know how to say that. Rue, Rule, Rui? Diancre. This one's like a coral shade, I think. And then this one, yeah, so this is the coral shade. And then this one is more still like a pink. Bouquet de Anton. I don't, I'm so sorry if I'm like butchering these names, but I picked these to possibly go with the Lamy. Um, like I said, the Lamy um, pen is the collection is like strawberries and cream so i was like okay maybe i should get like a pinky type of shade so we will see which one of these i will use for this pen and then i also got the sailor kyoku this is from the yurameki i think oh my gosh i wish yeah yurameki line that sailor released they released a whole bunch of them and i i went with this one to possibly put it in the caveco mint sport pen that i have um but i don't need to do that today um so anyways today we're going to be swatching these two and um hopefully i can pick one to put in the lamy pen so i'm going to set my lamy pen aside i don't want to get it dirty okay so let's touch test these out I feel much more confident having um the vials I guess in in these guys so they don't fall over um okay I'm gonna start off with the pink shade first got my q-tip just gonna dip it in there look how beautiful 
that is. Wow. Hi, baby. <laughs> Liam's here. Look how pretty. Wow, okay, I really like this pink shade. <laughs> okay, I have here my glass pen as well. You guys, this is so, so pretty. I see some feathering and it doesn't really bother me anymore um, that it feathers on this paper because I've learned that even though it feathers on this paper, it doesn't in my Midori nor in my um, Hobonichi or Tamo River paper. So it doesn't bother me anymore kind of um but yeah this is like a really pretty shade wow it writes really well that's such a pretty 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 shade i actually really really like this i like that it's not like an obnoxious pink, you know what I mean? So that's, love that, like a lot, a lot. I feel like I wanna go with this, but I wanna see how the, um, the coral one is first. Oh my gosh, this is really pretty once it's dried. There is some feathering right there and here, but again, it depends on your paper, to be honest. So that doesn't really bother me. Things feather on this paper more so than on like Midori and the Tomo River paper. So yeah. Anyways, oh, so beautiful and it's already dry. So we're gonna go ahead and try out the other ink. So this one, like I said earlier, is more so a coral shade. My Q tip. <gasps> wow. Wow. I feel like I'm going to go with the pink one, to be honest, just because I do already have a lot of um, kind of like a brown tone kind of similar to this in a way. So, yeah, I think we're gonna go with the other one. This is beautiful though. Like, so beautiful. Wow. I do love that. It's a beautiful coral shade. It definitely has more so of that brown reddish undertone but look at that one guys it's like a peachy coral oh I love it oh no okay let's continue swatching and then we can decide I have a feeling I might go I don't know I was really into the pink and now I see this and I'm like I kind of really I love this shade. You guys know me and my nudes and stuff. So this is like perfect. I'm not sure. But wow, it does have that really pretty. Um, it's like peachy pink, corally. Oh my God. Gosh. Oh 
this is just so beautiful, y'all. Oh my gosh, I don't know which one to pick. Again, I do see some feathering. But, you know. As we mentioned earlier, it's the pen, the paper. Petals, stars, and hearts. It's so cute. It really is. It's a very nice shade. Oh my gosh, and it's it's still rather wet, so I can't flip or go to the next page, but this is a beautiful, beautiful shade. Um, I don't know which one to pick. I'm gonna have to think this through. <laughs> All right, guys, I've waited for it to completely dry, and here we are. This is more so corally, um, pinky undertone. It are, actually, this one reminds me of a strawberry more than this one this one after actually drying and all of that this one has more of a purpley undertone than i originally thought it did um so yeah looking at the two i mean i love this too oh my gosh this is so hard i feel like i really need to get like a pinky purpley pen to match this or something but i think i'm gonna go with this one to be honest just because it really reminds me of a strawberry and it goes with the theme of the um what's it called special edition type of theme going on so yeah i think we're gonna go with this one it's a beautiful corally pinky shade i don't even know how to describe it um yeah once it's dried it's actually like this is beautiful and i do really like how it wrote here um, and, a, and then as you can see, if you layer and all that, it, it does get a little bit darker and just really reminds me of a strawberry, to be honest. Um, yeah, I wish this one has less purple, I guess you would say. It has more of a purpley undertone. Um, but yeah, we're going to go with this one and I'm so excited. So let's get our pen. and put in the cartridge. Oh my gosh, I am so excited about this. Wow. Okay, I love how, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm gonna pop it out again. So with the Caveco, um, I mentioned it before, it tends to pop out um, and it's like really scary to be honest. Um, but this one, I'm not sure if you can see, but there's like, let me move this out of the way. Um, there's dots right there on both sides of the converter and it like pops into these crevices here and it kind of locks it in place, which is really nice. And it's like super secure feeling, more so than the Caveco converters. So I love that so much. Good job, Lamy. I might be a fan. I think I'm a fan. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and um, ink this up. Or I think, I'm scared I'm going to get like ink on this. Should I just... Um, no, I, it's a, it'll be fine. I can just wipe it off if need be. All right, we're just going to go ahead and ink it. Oh my gosh, such a mess. Okay. All right, so we are all inked up and clean. <laughs> Um, I was able to get all the inks off of the barrel, so that's good. And now let's go ahead and write with this for the very first time. And it feels great in my hands. It's very lightweight. I believe it is just, you know, plastic. So it's really nice and there's really no weight to it whatsoever, which is great. Um, I have a carpal tunnel on my right hand, if you're not, f if you didn't know. Um, so I do like really light um 
what's it called, uh, pens. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and what's the date today? Today is the 15th, so. <gasps> oh, it's already ready to go. Oh, I like that. Okay, so this is the Lamy. This is writing so well. It's actually very smooth. It's smoother than my Caveco. Some of my Cavecos, for some weird reason, some of them, not all of them, some of them feels really scratchy. This one's pretty smooth. Um, very happy with it. Um, yeah. This is nice. Yeah, this is very nice. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I really like how this writes. And this ink is perfect. It has the perfect ink flow. It writes really, really well. Wow, I'm obsessed. This might be even better than my Sailor, some of my Sailor inks, because some of my Sailor inks, I feel like it doesn't have that good of a ink flow in some of my pens um so this is really nice i'm very happy with this and yeah i think that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed seeing uh, my new pen and inking it with me testing out two of the inks that i thought i would use um yeah i'm so excited this might be a new favorite ink brand for me it just write so well i love it so much let me know your thoughts thanks for being here i hope you enjoyed this video and yeah until next time guys bye